to urge a no vote on Senate Bill 5. I do so with the full understanding and appreciation that many of my colleagues disagree. And I will respect your right to disagree, but ask that you respect the fact that I have practiced law more than anybody in this room, that I have won more cases in front of the Supreme Court than anybody in this room, that I've probably litigated more matters, including labor matters, than anybody in this room. And I come from 32 years of experience. And let me say that I find myself in a unique position today. I am not traditionally pro-labor. You will not see a whole lot of labor endorsements on my background. If anything, you may see a whole lot of labor endorsements of my opponents in my history. I understand, however, that when we deal with government, it's not fair to say that X percent of the taxpayer's money goes to labor because government doesn't manufacture anything. Government is a service industry, and in a service industry, the only thing you have is labor because they provide the service whether it's the folks who are going to pick me up when I have that first heart attack and hopefully the second and the third, whether it's the ones who put out the fire, whether it's the ones who are there protecting us in the halls of this building the last couple days as they have. But my biggest problem with Senate Bill 5, and Senator Seitz hit on it, is that it does not keep the collective bargaining process as is claimed. Because under that language in 4117.14d2 that the good senator from Cincinnati explained, there is no collective bargaining process. Senate Bill 5 replaces public worker collective bargaining with public worker collective begging. Under Senate Bill 5, we lose the ability to bargain. This leaves police, fire, highway patrol, corrections officers, teachers, and everybody else in the public employee circle as beggars. This process is fatally flawed. As the good senator from Cincinnati said, to have collective bargaining, not collective begging, you have to have, at the end of the rainbow, a fair, impartial third party who doesn't have a dog in the fight, ultimately resolving the final impasse between labor and management. And if you don't have that, and Senate Bill 5 does not have that, you do not have collective bargaining. And last but not least, I want to thank the Highway Patrol. They're here in force, they've been in here in force to protect the public safety. I just think it's too bad that in Senate Bill 5 we did not see fit to protect you.